Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET. This is the Sony KDL EX720 series. I'm with the 46 inch member of the series, but the sizes range from 32 all the way up to 60 inches in this series. It's Sony's least expensive line of 3D TVs for 2011. Sony used an LED backlight on this model, so when you turn it to the side, you can see it's a really thin TV, a little under two inches thick. Of course, when you look at this TV from the front, it looks like a lot of other TVs on the market. It's glossy black. There is a relatively thin border around the edge of the screen, and along the bottom, it's a little bit thicker with a slightly different look. Overall, it's one of the more understated TVs we've seen, and it sits pretty low atop this swivel stand, so that's a nice touch if you want a compact television. EX720 boasts Sony's full suite of internet connectivity. It doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi, however, that's restricted to the higher-end models. So if you want Wi-Fi, you've got to buy a separate $90 dongle. The yeah, internet services on this TV include Netflix, Amazon Video On Demand, and pretty much any other video streaming service you can think of, except for Vudu. This TV doesn't have Vudu or its th Vudu 3D streaming, but of course we expect 3D streaming to appear on other services soon. This TV does have Sony's exclusive Curiosity uh, Video On Demand and also music service if you subscribe to Curiosity Music Unlimited, you can listen to the songs on this TV as well. It'll even stream DLNA over home network like a lot of the other connected TVs for 2011. So all in all, it's uh, streaming and internet uh, content options are top notch. One other unique feature is the Grace Note service. You can actually press a button on the remote here and it'll identify the uh, song that's playing on the TV show or even on a streaming service like Netflix. If you hear a commercial, you don't really know what the song is, you can hit this button and hopefully it'll find it out for you. It's a little bit like Shazam for your TV and we found it works pretty well. One other thing on this TV is the built-in web browser, but when we took it for a spin, we found it excruciatingly slow and uh, painful to use. So we really think you should avoid using it at all costs. Try to use any other browser in your living room if you can, even if it's just on your phone. Picture quality on the Sony is just okay. Uh, one of the downsides is the uniformity. Uh, the edges of the screen and the corners appear to be a little bit brighter than the uh, middle, so that can show up on some dark areas. It also doesn't get quite as deep in terms of black level as uh, some of the other TVs on the market. On the plus side, we appreciated its color accuracy and its matte screen, which allow it to reduce the intensity of reflections in the room. So if you have a bright room, this is uh, one of the better TVs to get. TV has plenty of connectivity, including three HDMI inputs on the back and another on the side, in addition to a PC input and a single component video input. Anyway, that's a quick look at the Sony KDL EX720 series, and I'm David Katzmeyer.